हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कॉन्जिनाइटल एनोमलीज दिस क्लास आई एम टेकिंग इन इंग्लिश इफ यू वांट टू सी दिस लेक्चर इन हिंदी यू कैन गो टू माय चैनल यू कैन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ अपकमिंग लेक्चर्स लेटर स्टार्ट वट इज कॉन्जिनाइटल एनोमलीज Congenital anomalies can be defined as structural or functional malformation that occur during intrauterine life and can be identified sometime prenatally sometime at birth or sometime may be detected later in infancy such as hearing defects congenital anomalies are also known as birth defects in simple language congenital anomalies have significant impact on individual families healthcare system and societies it may lead to long term disabilities and even death the most common and severe congenital anomalies are heart defects neural tube defects and down syndrome while some moderate congenital anomalies are cleft lip and cleft palate although congenital anomalies may be the result of one or more genetic infectious nutritional or environmental factors it is often difficult to identify the exact cause let us see what are the causative factors for congenital anomalies there are many factors such as genetic factors socio economic and demographic factors environmental factors some infections and maternal nutritional status let us discuss them one by one first factor is genetic factor genes play important role in many congenital anomalies this might be through sudden change in the gene known as mutation some ethnic communities have comparatively high prevalence of rare genetic mutations such as cystic fibrosis and hemophilia c second factor is socio economic and demographic factors low income may be an indirect determinant for congenital anomalies with a higher frequency among resource constrained families and countries this high risk relate to the possible lack of access to sufficient nutritious foods by the pregnant women and increased exposure to the agents or factors such as infection alcohol or poorer access to health care and screening maternal age is also a risk factor for the abnormal intrauterine fetal development advanced maternal age increase the risk of chromosomal abnormalities including down syndrome another important factor is environmental factors maternal exposure to certain pesticides and other chemicals such as some medicines alcohol tobacco and radiation during pregnancy may increase the risk of having fetus or neonate affected by congenital anomalies particularly if the mother is exposed to other environmental risk factors or nutritional deficiencies next is infection maternal infections such as syphilis and rubella are a significant cause of congenital anomalies in low and middle income group countries more recently the effect of in utero exposure to zika virus on developing fetuses has been also reported next is maternal nutritional status maternal folate insufficiency increase the risk of having baby baby with a neural tube defect while excessive vitamin a intake may affect the normal development of an embryo or fetus so what are the preventive measures by which we can re reduce the risk of congenital anomalies these are adolescent girls and mothers should have a healthy diet including a wide variety of vegetables and fruits and maintain healthy weight an adequate dietary intake of vitamins and minerals and particular folic acid should be ensured 
in adolescent girls and mothers. Pregnant women should avoid harmful substances, particularly alcohol and tobacco. Pregnant women should avoid travel to regions experiencing outbreak of infections known to be associated with congenital anomalies. Try to reduce or eliminate exposure to hazardous substances such as heavy metal and pesticides during pregnancy. Controlling diabetes prior to and during pregnancy through counseling, weight management, diet and administration of insulin when required. Ensure that any exposure of pregnant women to medications or medical radiation is justified and based on careful health risk benefit analysis. Vaccination especially against rubella virus for children and women. Increasing and strengthening education of health staff and other involved in promoting prevention of congenital anomalies and screening of infection especially rubella, varicella, syphilis and consideration of treatment before pregnancy. Dear students, in these ways we can prevent the risk or reduce the risk of congenital anomalies. You can follow me on Twitter so that you can get notification of upcoming videos and you can visit my blog for making your notes. Thank you.